What's up guys, for today's video I'm going to put to the test world fastest gas can. Check this out, it comes with the adapter, you would have to purchase separately. But what is originally made for is motorcycles, uh, dirt bikes, four wheelers, side by side, that has this big uh, gas can nozzle or opening, whatever you call it. I tried to put it in, I'll show it to you guys in a minute, into the lawnmower, riding the lawnmower. It was a little bit too skinny and I'll show you what I'm talking about. This system right here, you put it upside down and there's a store inside there. I don't know exactly how it works, where it connects to, but you guys can see yourself, you see? So somewhere that pulls out the gasoline, whenever you press it, oh, there's a safety too. Whenever you press it, there's somewhere, yep, there's a stall. The oxygen gets inside of it in the middle, the gasoline comes out, or the liquid, whatever you're going to use. And this is just a simple look at that nozzle. That's huge. So you would have to buy actual gas can with this attachment, so all together. And also, I think the store goes to the handle right here. That's an awesome design. So whenever you're putting it back in, kind of push it carefully, don't break the store. But if I want to use it for lawnmower, I can still do so, or even cars or whatever, by buying this attachment. And there's a little rest right here, and it's still pushable, as you can see. It doesn't clip in or screw on or anything. So kind of be careful, just hold it together and push it down. This is such a unique system. It's almost like those Formula One pit stop system. I don't know if you guys seen it, that looks really fast. So this is supposed to be the world fastest gas can. I mean that it pulls out gas, refills gas really, really fast. Let's try it out and see what happens. First of all, I want to show you guys how it's pouring. I just filled it up with water. Look at that pour, that's amazing. Instantly stops. Instantly stops every time. Look at that, that's amazing. So it pours out from one side, getting air from the other side. And look at that. It pours out, what is this, 2.7 gallons, pours out so fast. I'm all out already, I can't believe it. Done. That's amazing. I cannot believe how fast it was pouring. Also, you put the lock in, boom, done. Also, it's self-stopping, it's supposed to not overspill. That's what I think. Let me go refill and I'll show you how it works with the bigger canisters and the smaller ones. You see smaller ones, it won't fit. Even if it fits a little bit, it's still not going to work because it needs to fit all the way down this and so that way we can press it. Without this pressing action, it's not going to work. I'm going to film the close-up of the jar filling up with the liquid and then we're going to see if it's going to self-stop or not. Hold it like that, press it, pulls it a really, little really fast. And it self stop. Check this out. Right before the tip, so it didn't stop too soon either. Look at that. Just an inch or less. Perfect. Then I can lift it, take it out. Wow, amazing. Let me try this again. This is the best canister, at least for the all the motorcycle, dirt bikes, ATVs, four-wheelers, you just think of all this cool stuff you can fill up. Look how fast. And then it's done, it stopped, not pouring anything, lift it, nothing coming out, not even a drop. Now what about this small nozzle? Okay, remove the safety, just press it and fold it, otherwise it won't open. You see, that's the best way. Then. You press it, hold it, and let's see what happens. Will it stop? It works so well. Whoa, it's even faster. Except the difference with the attachment, it does not stop. So let me show it to you guys one more time. It does, seems like pouring 
or filling up a lot faster with the attachment. But you kind of got to watch it. You got to stop it yourself. Hopefully you can see a little bit too how much liquid there is coming up. So yeah, you'd have to practice with the smaller tanks. It is a spill. Ah, but that's amazing. I love this gas can. If you are using it for ATV or dirt bike, this is the best. Look how fast. It filled up to the top this time. Now that it is less full. Let's see if it's almost empty. Will it overspill? Because it's pouring too fast. Let's find out. Nice, look at that. Every time it actually works even better when it's uh, less full. It fills up a bit more. This is so satisfying. This is amazing. There you go guys, the fastest and there is no floss with this gas can. Easy to use, easy to hold. Boom. Let me show you another view. So simple, you need to fill something up, press this, hold it upside down. It's almost empty. But there you go. We'll finish it up, see if it's gonna take out all the liquid out of there. So fast. No spills. One more time. You guys be the judge. What do you guys think? So easy to use. So easy to put the latchet back on so that way it doesn't spill anything. It doesn't press by mistake. It's almost out. And we all out. Maybe a couple drops in there, but you know it's all the gas cans with liquid. Really cool, don't you guys think? And comfortable, 2.7 gallons. And to show you how it works on our ATV side by side, you push it like that sideways, just hold it upside down like that, so all the liquid goes to the bottom. Don't hold it like that, because most of the liquid will stay down here, gasoline. So you hold it upside down like that and pour it. Great design for the side gasoline attachment side here. But that's what I'm talking about. This thing right here is really wide on four wheeler side by sides. You'll have to use attachment if it's smaller. This is a riding lawnmower. The attachment will have to be in use, I'm pretty sure. Yep, you see? It seems like it's wide enough, but when you put in, it seems like it fits. But then it doesn't go any deeper. But it has to go all the way to the end for it to be able to be pressed. So that's why you get the attachment. But with the attachment you gotta be careful not to spill it. So this is why it's best for one of these toys. Well guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know in comments below what do you think about this really awesome gas can. Would you use it or would you stick to the original one and old ones? Also, don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe and I'll see you next time.